What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, today we are finally, 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 finally going to put some suspension on the Sylvia. So um, I'll show you guys right now. These are my stock guys right here, obviously. Stock knuckles. Still haven't gotten them modified yet, unfortunately. But shout out to the homie, Jean-Louis. Um, he hooked me up with these as like a test fit for once we get these sent out. Let me get these in the light here. Oh, so these are S14 knuckles, actually, is what they are. Um, and they're just shortened, they're just cut knuckles pretty much. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about them. Um, just for reference, I'll pull out one of these guys. This is the stock knuckle. You can see the tie rod pickup. And then this is the shortened knuckle. So you can see it's like, honestly, at least halfway shorter. So this should quicken that steering response lots, but this isn't really why, like, the reason why I'm putting these on, like, I don't know if I'm going to run these yet or not, it's kind of still unsure just because of fitment stuff and, like, if I'm going to end up getting knuckles from Heatmaker or not, like, I don't know. Um, it's because I have extended control arms and extended inner tie rods and all that stuff, so I want to throw all my suspension on and just see what I'm hitting because a lot of times with these cut knuckles and extended lower control arms, excuse me, you end up, like, rubbing on the control arm or something, so, um... I'm gonna start getting everything together so we can see if we have any contact. So let's get right after it. So here's everything set out by side. Um, this is right, I believe, and this is left. But um, yeah, so we got, just showing this all again for the people who haven't seen it in the past maybe. This is my Kazama Auto extended lower control arms. These are FDF curved tension rods, obviously GK Tech tie rods, and then OEM outers. I can't stress this enough, OEM outer tie rods always. Those Heim joint fucking shitty aluminum tie rods break. Don't use those. And then we have custom cut knuckles. I would be having B-knuckle right now, but they're still out of stock. So I don't know when they're going to be in stock, so I might just run these for a little bit. But either way, this is going to be all for test. I never ended up taking out the inner tie rod out and the outer tie rod, I guess. So now I'm going to take the whole tie rod apart real quick because... Um, I gotta get the longer boy in there, so we're just gonna deal with this real quick, and then we can get to installing. Okay, I got it. Um, I just needed to use a pipe wrench and a hammer. There's this little clip, I don't know if you guys can see it. Is it super? little clip right behind it that's super annoying that gets in the way but you just need to get a good grip on it and give her a good whack but look how shot this inner tie rod is <laughs> let me get it out and show you guys okay here we are this wasn't really that bad it was more just like a bit of annoying um but yeah this is the little clip it just has little grooves in it to catch on to the to these parts um, it's just a little annoying. It almost like gets in the way But it's not a big deal. So you can see this is like super stock like this was Not modified. It could have been modified at one point, but Right now it is not but this Joint here is destroyed. It's shot like look how much play this has like this should be nice and tight like this is loosey-goosey so Also in a way it's very good that this is going back or this is getting changed because this needed some loving. But there is a proper tool to use for this. There's like a tie rod tool you can slip on and like twist and shit. There's a bunch of tools you can use, but I made do with the old pipe wrench and it worked. So yeah, now time to figure out my situation with rack extensions, because I don't, or rack spacers, because I don't know which ones go on which side. I'll have to search it up. Okay, so I'm just starting to kind of unbox parts and see what goes what. These are the rack spacers. Um, one, they're each sided. So they're, they can work on both like right hand drive and left hand drive pairs, but the orientation is different. So this part always goes on your passenger side. So whatever that is, right hand drive, left hand drive, whatever your passenger side is, the big boy goes on it. Um, it says too to use Loctite with it, which I'm going to, I'm just not gonna do it right now because all this is gonna come apart again. So, um, this is more of a, I'm just soft mocking everything together. Uh, I'm not going to like really tighten everything up, right? I'm just more going to 
kind of get everything loose and then just turn and see. Uh, I more just want to see if anything hits and then if I need to change anything. And then um, I'll take it apart again and then put it in for like final assembly. So um, yeah, so we're going to just kind of loosely throw everything together and just see if we have to clearance anything or m change anything. Because I don't know, it's it's all like parts bin parts, right? So like I don't know what's going to hit what or if we're going to need more room in certain areas. So yeah. So these tie rods need to be cut to length. That's how these extended ones work from GK Tech. So I'm currently just getting this all set up. The tension rod, the lower control arm, and just gonna get everything bolted up and in place and straight. So then I can cut the tie rod to length after, just so I know everything else is good before I start yamming on this thing. So everything's on suspension wise, like not super tight, but like tight enough. Um, just kind of holding it in place and I had this all centered earlier now. It's just kind of sitting because nothing's holding it But I did some measuring off camera because I had a lot of thinking to do and it looks like that's where I need to cut it So I'll cut that because these are or where are the tie rods and uh, Here's the tie rod. These are kind of deceiving actually because they look super long Compared to the OE style ones You can see it's like the actual length of the tie rods super long, but Actually, what happens is this only engages to, like you can see where I marked it, it only engages to about here for thread. So, like, all this is just filled in. Like, this isn't actually all threadable. So, if it was, it would actually work, but then I feel like it'd be kind of sketchy. So, yeah, now that I've done kind of all the mathing, it's time to start cutting. There we go. So that's that. It actually cut pretty nice. Looks pretty good. Where's the other piece? There it is. So we just got this little part snipped off. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute because it's probably super hot. So <laughs> give me a sec. Okay, so after cutting like 10 times, um, the suspension is together kind of. Like there's still so much missing obviously, but um, Oh, my light died, so sorry for not that much lighting, but um, I'll kind of use my phone as needed. Um, as you can see right here, oh, there we go, that's the angle. The tie rod's touching the control arm. So, that's our first issue at lock, we're touching already. Nothing's really super tight yet, but so far the angle's pretty good, like, it's... Seems pretty nice. I don't know how we're gonna look for touching stuff here. I'll put the hub on and throw a wheel on quick just to see. But already we're touching the control arm, so that we're gonna have to do something about. But these control arms have these like plates. I'll uh, show it on the other control arm that's actually on the ground. For the other side. So like it has a plate here for that. So I wonder if I can just pop this off, but I'm not really honestly sure. Okay. So now that you guys are set up, I'm gonna turn the wheel to lock and we're gonna see what the steering looks like and if we hit stuff. Oh, instantly. Did y'all see that? Oh God. Oh, it's fucking Christ. I need to tighten this wheel. <laughs> I have it like hand tight. Oh dude. Ooh. That was a little funky, that movement. The amount of angle, though. Okay, that's as far as she'll go. Oh, dude, that's sick. Um, I'm just gonna show, like, this is actually really cool. Look at that, dude. Oh my god, that's so much more than it was before. I wish I took a video of before, because like this is insane. But you can see like straight into the suspension now, look at everything. That's so wild. Yeah, I'm just sending you guys back down, so now I'm gonna turn the wheel the other, other way and see if we're hitting anything on that side. Okay, that's lock. Oh, 
Oh man, hell yeah. We're chilling on space. Ooh, wait, I don't know about chilling on space actually. Sucks, this tire I have on there is pretty needy. Okay, we are most definitely... Oh. Okay, it's rubbing a little bit on the sway bar as well, which kind of sucks, but... <laughs> But uh, it's okay, we can figure that out. <laughs> also, another thing for you people at home, um, the S14 hubs, or the S14 knuckles don't work with S15 hubs. You have a big like gap and it bangs back and forth because um, the actual height of them is the same. This one's just a little slanted, so ignore that. But S15's on the left, S14 on the right. The S14 has like a little beveled, if you can see that, it has like a little beveled spot in it. Which is very weird, like it has like a little like, it just, you can see it has a line in it and it pops out where the SFT one's just flat. So the knuckles have just a little bit of a difference and um, this is where the speed sensor, or the ABS sensor goes in the knuckle and this one just doesn't have it. So it's funny because this DS14 one like has the, uh, it has like the, the pop out part of where it would go, but it just doesn't have the holes where this one has holes in it. We're like... If you really want to, you could probably drill these out, but me personally, I'm good. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna call it for the day. Um, I'll just show you guys where I'm leaving off. Um, this is how the suspension's kind of chilling for now. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little night break. I got some stuff I gotta work on. I have a proposal to work on for a project. And uh, blah, 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 blah. I am gonna pick this up right up in the morning, so. Um, I'm gonna do the whole other side net tomorrow. And I just want to get everything all put together just so I can um, Get everything kind of sized up because like that tie rod on that inner tie rod on the other side is gonna be different because it has the bigger rack spacer So that one's gonna be cut different, which is all good. So Yeah, I'll pick back with you guys up in the morning. So the next clip you guys are gonna see I'm gonna be rested awake and fresh day. So yeah <laughs> Okay, guys, we'll back up into the light uh, just being honest, I've been real bad with filming. It's been two days since that last clip, unfortunately. But I'll show you guys why. I have good explanation. Um, as you guys can see, the suspension is still all together in the front, which is good. Like, I'm leaving it like this. The only thing is I have... Um, the other side's not done because I have no space because of the Evo. Because I haven't had the chance to bring the Evo outside because all of a sudden... I don't know if it's going to flash by you guys, but... It started snowing. And it's like currently snowing right now, so... Yeah, it's like freezing outside. Um, so it's 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 just kind of tough to get the Evo outside right now. Because even if, like the weather's not really going to kill it if I put it out the side for a couple hours. It's, these tires, it has Toyo Proxies on it that are like semi-slicks. So, um, they're like a track tire. So it's like, I don't want to get beached in my driveway. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, hopefully, I think tomorrow is supposed to cool off, so hopefully we should be okay, but yeah, I'm gonna try my best to get this out soon, so you guys are gonna see some stuff after this. Okay, I just tied my shoes right now. Um, it's, it's maybe been an hour since I last recorded that little clip, but, oh, there we go. Um, unsuspected little journey we're going on right now. Oh, Mark hit me up. Mark being the 881 guy with the S14 with the LS in it. He's like, hey, he has a Porsche uh, 996, 911. And he's like, hey, um, I want to go drift my 911. Do you want to come record? And I'm like, yeah, of course. So, yeah, we're doing that right now. No idea what I'm going to expect. No idea what to expect. No idea what to, um, what you guys are going to see, but... Obviously this sounds exciting, so let's go. Uh, there it is. Here we go, boys. Man, they were thinking about us when they made that turn, right? <laughs> it's so good. Slippery this is. Like, no, totally, yeah. You don't know where where you lose grip and get it back.
All right, so as you guys can see, we're skidding. Oh, Mark's turning around. Okay. <laughs> we're good. As you guys can see, I'm freezing out here. It's so cold. <laughs> but this is fun. This is the shit you do for, for skids. <gasps> oh. Get in, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're stopped right now. Me and Mark are getting gas. We're in uh, the Porsche, obviously. Mark's gassing up and he's freezing outside. But yeah, this is this is so fun. <laughs> These like random adventures are the best. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I don't really know what else we're gonna do. It's starting to get dark out, as you can see. So I don't really know how much more filming we're gonna do. But I hope I hope we can stop somewhere else and I can like get outside and do a cool clip of something. But so far, this has been lots of fun. All right. Um, oh, light, light, light. Um, I'm back home, as you can see. Uh, Mark just dropped me off. We had a little chat about drifting things. He was. Give me insight on uh, S chassis lore, no, not S, like S chassis suspension setup. Um, I didn't really film anything else just because, uh, <laughs> excuse me, we went and got food and it was just like a chill kind of time. So I didn't want to stick a camera in nobody's faces, you know? So um, here we are back at home, but it was lots of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that little, little Porsche segment. I had lots of fun, so I hope you guys did too. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I'm hoping the next video will have the suspension fully complete and I can put the car on the ground and just see like what kind of angle we're getting and if we're hitting anything and just kind of that whole jazz of things. So yeah, either way, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great morning, good afternoon, good night, good morning, good everything. <laughs> I butchered that one. But uh, yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching. And uh, peace.